Welcome to Selectory, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the 10 best thriller movies on Netflix. It's hard to deny that thrillers are the best. They have all the best elements of every other genre, but they're still different enough to be worth your time. While thrillers are scary, they don't cross into horror territory. The pacing is fast but there's still tons of plot. And the action scenes are intense without being too much. They have a little bit of everything, so it'll keep you captivated. Get your heart rate up with our list of the best thriller movies on Netflix right now. Number 10, The Killing of a Sacred Deer. In Yorgos Lanthimos Chilling and Breathtaking The Killing of a Sacred Deer, a man who plays God for a living meets a boy who chooses to play the devil. Once again, as he did with a lobster, Lanthimos is working in a deeply metaphorical register. He uses an extreme situation as a means to highlight and illuminate human fears. The result is a mesmerizing thriller, a movie with no clear answers. Its terrifying situation traps us in its web of mystery, and leaves us with only little hope for an uplifting ending. With uniformly great performances throughout the cast, brilliant camera work by Lanthimos, and jaw-dropping visual detail, this film is one of the best of 2017. If you're a cinephile, you need to see this film. It's a provocative and well-crafted film that challenges viewers in fascinating ways, and will leave you invigorated. The movie is certainly a rare find that can be simultaneously terrifying, hilarious, strange, and heartbreaking, often in the same scene. Like the Greek myth that inspired it, it feels powerful enough to last for years. Number 9, Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems, directed by Josh and Benny Softy, is an emotionally savvy film about Howard, an adrenaline junkie diamond dealer who gambles heavily. The film follows him through a couple of days of his life, he's trying to get his huge gambling debts paid down by betting on dangerous games. The hope is that once the debt is paid off, Howard will be able to turn over a new leaf and fix some of his mistakes. But everyone knows it's a fantasy. His addiction is too overwhelming to overcome. The awe-inspiring uncut gems in the title are not superficial. They burn with heat at the center of the earth and shine like no other, deep within Howard's core. Self-delusion is redundant. All delusions are rooted in a willingness to buy into something that can't happen, an improbable chance, or a long shot. When you're deluded, your brain is a cage. You are your own prison guard, ensuring the boundaries of what you can think about are not crossed. A feedback loop of delusion and addiction is at the core of many people's problems. Uncut Gem shows this electrified fence cycle like no other film in recent memory. It's agonizing and thrilling. Number 8. Bad Genius Bad Genius is a movie worth seeing. It deserves full marks for a whip-smart script that turns a high school cheating scheme into an entertaining and suspenseful film. The GHD team has been behind some of the most successful films in recent years, and this one is no exception. It's executed with technical precision and a hip style, but it also offers insight into Thailand's class inequalities and corrupt school system. By flipping the script on nerdy egghead heroes, Poon Puria calls out Asia's rote learning and grades obsessed academic culture. The film caused a huge uproar in Asia, rocked the domestic box office, and sold out across the continent. This movie is demanding a remake, and could well get noticed in the West after premiering at the New York Asian Film Festival. What the young cast lacks in experience they make up for in energy. Chang Chero and Shu Qing, a young model, makes a well-received screen debut. Clumsy, but courageous, she transforms dramatically from a teacher's pet, to an anti-social rebel, to ever so slowly accepting herself for who she is or wants to be. You will feel like you're on a thrilling, touching, and heartwarming journey. Number 7, Good Time. Good Time, a movie by Josh and Benny Softy, is a terrific, if at times brutal film. The protagonist of the movie is not a brute. In fact, Connie is a criminal but he never uses violence. Also, his bank robbery is silent through past notes under teller windows. Connie has a mentally handicapped brother at his side, Nick, whom he loves with a ferocity that is often destructive. Connie is always dragging Nick away from his therapy sessions, preferring to build him up through dishonest work. It's clear that Nick is not doing much, but Connie insists that he needs him, and that his presence is vital. Maybe he's right. The Safety's latest film, Good Time, is a much more aggressive thriller than their last one, but it still has the same compassionate heart at its center. The film takes its time to introduce the dysfunctional love between the brothers, before diving into neon-hued squealing electronic chaos. For all the thrills it provides, Good Time is a film about destructive love. However, this is not the kind of love that can make someone happy. Ignore the friendly title, it's a thrilling ride that will stick with you. Number 6, Shutter Island. 
In 1954, up-and-coming U.S. Marshal Teddy Daniels is sent to investigate the disappearance of a patient from Boston's Ashcliffe Hospital. He felt like he was brought to the island for a reason, but before long he thinks there's more to it than just personal reasons. He becomes convinced that it's part of a twisted plot by doctors at the hospital, to force him to accept radical treatments. Some are unethical, some are illegal, and some are downright sinister. After Teddy's exhaustive investigative work, he suspects there's a key piece of information hidden in hospital records. The hospital refuses him access, but he persists to stand up for what he believes is the truth. As a hurricane causes communication issues, more dangerous criminals are able to escape in the confusion. The clues are puzzling, improbable, and Teddy starts to doubt everything, his memory, his partner, even his sanity. Full of flashbacks and haunting dream sequences, the film takes place at various locations, ranging from the island itself to the concentration camp at Dachau. The audience is constantly confused as to what is reality and what is a dream. If you're looking for a movie that will keep you guessing, don't miss this one. Number 5, Nocturnal Animals. Joan Didion once wrote that we tell ourselves stories in order to live. Often without realizing it, we do the same thing to hurt others. That's the moral of Nocturnal Animals, a story about love, vengeance, and the divide between life and art. In the story, real people are turned into fictional characters, and old wounds turn into narrative grist. Here, an unhappy girlfriend becomes a happy wife, a betrayed man becomes the victim of an unending cycle of violence, and murderers take turns bringing the pain. With Nocturnal Animals, Jake Ford aimed to create a thoughtful and ambitious project. He is adept at creating different realities and textures for each storyline. These variations create layers of meaning, and leaves an impression on viewers. It appears Susan's world is much more artificial than Tony's, with the dust, cruelty, and blood. She looks like she stepped out of a Pedro Almodovar Fantasia, while Tony is stuck in a Jim Thompson pulp novel. This combination isn't simple, especially if you don't have the critical distance, the deep feeling, and the humor that transform an ordinary melodrama into an Almodovar. Number 4. Zodiac. Based on the notorious Zodiac killings, Zodiac is the most sensationalistic and most entertaining of serial killer movies. It's not merely based on California's infamous Zodiac killings, but seems to exude the very stench of its bloodstained time period. The killer generously supplied so many clues that Sherlock Holmes might have solved the case, had he only sat down at the desk in his living room. But many years passed before a newspaper cartoonist pieced together the pieces of the puzzle, and all the while the guilty man went unpunished. It's not enough to have several important facts, but you also need to make sure they are connected in a way that makes sense. The most impressive achievement in this film is that it gathers a bewildering labyrinth of facts and suspicions over years, and makes this journey suspenseful and frightening. We could have mired ourselves in endless debate about the Zodiac investigation, but director David Fincher and his writer, James Vanderbilt, find their way through the murk with great clarity. The film is more about the journey than the final destination, and it's a journey worth taking. Number 3, Training Day. Good to see Denzel Washington in a meaty villainous role. And he does not disappoint as Detective Sergeant Alonzo Harris, an undercover cop in South Central Los Angeles, who isn't afraid to get down and dirty when it comes to the job. When a naive young rookie, Jake, played by Ethan Hawke, is assigned a day with Alonzo, he realizes that his boss's deals with bad guys are corruption and psychopathic self-deception. Alonzo is a character with lots of wit and charm. He plays with the heads of people like Jake with an earnest smile, making them join him in frighteningly intimidating acts. He also creatively and inventively comes up with embarrassing initiation rituals for Jake, such as smoking PCP in the car. Although Alonzo was not always a corrupt cop, Training Day forces you to wonder how this man could have turned into a monster he originally fought against. Overall, this movie is a real-life morality tale of two men, and the differing intentions they have as police officers. Their impression of each other changes as their training day unfolds, and it culminates with one being labeled as the wolf and the other as the sheep. Number 2, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler is a dirty, grubby, creepy movie that makes you want to wash after the credits have rolled. It's about the madness of the modern media, how society has encouraged it, and the dangerous fallout of mass unemployment. The protagonist of the movie is Lou Bloom, who does things like steal, trespass, and assault security guards. Yet this is not enough to make him an unlikable character. He talks like he's reading from a self-help book, but most of the things he says are reasonable. When he turns on the charm, he seems sweet and innocent and surprisingly likable. Gilroy seems to be a sly poet. He knows how to get your attention, and what you want to hear. He just keeps it real. 
He maintains a perfect distance from Lou so that we get a buzz from his audacity, while seeing him as revolting. We're not turning our backs on Lou, but we can't ignore the fact that he's in a place where all of us have been. The voice that whispers, you've just got to do what makes you happy, and it is easier to ask forgiveness than permission is one that dwells deep within us. This abyss is the darkness of the mind which contains the feeling of superiority, the voice of self-interest, and the excuses. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 1. Jaws Jaws is not only the original blockbuster, but it's also the Michael Jordan of cinema. It set the standard for all other movies to follow, and in doing so it changed how movies are made and marketed. Spielberg's career is defined by his blockbuster successes, but he is also a phenomenally skillful and artful director. And while Jaws may not be his most popular movie, it is certainly among his finest. He has a good sense of timing, he blends horror and comedy with great effect, he gets great performances from his actors, and he never lets special effects take over his story and characters. Jaws was both terrifying and spectacular, without being grotesque or unbelievable. Roy Scheider's Brody is a classic everyman, someone we can all relate to and understand. He is faced with extraordinary circumstances and rises to the occasion. Richard Dreyfuss Hooper is not nerdy or preachy, but rather provides a friend for Brody to rely upon. It is this relationship that makes the movie such a wonderful and heartfelt story. The suspense and action in this movie will keep you on the edge of your seat, but the humor and emotion will help you understand it better. It is not simply a blockbuster, it has something to offer for everyone. Be sure to check out this video here on Selectory, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.